If you are South African, then you may remember this painting. It would have been owned by your parents or grandparents and hung up on the walls. However, it always seemed out of place. While this painting may have been strange to look at in the past, there is an entire story behind it that no one ever told you. This story is about hauntings and house fires that left more than a few people dead. The haunted painting, titled The Crying Boy, was done by an Italian artist named Bruno Amadio. It was later mass-produced and sold to many people who put them up in their homes. However, at the time, these people did not know that tragedy would be following them. In the time that followed, a large number of house fires occurred, with people dying and a lot of property being destroyed. Strangely, in all the fires, this painting was the only thing that did not burn. A fire station officer by the name of Alan Wilkinson noted many cases where he attended house fires and found that the painting was the only thing that laid untouched, while everything around it perished. In 1985, a British newspaper had published a story about the painting and the officers were immediately flooded with calls from people who owned it. They claimed that strange things happened around the painting, with some of the stories talking about how the crying boy had led to their children being injured. Before I go on, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, as I upload new videos every week, and share what you want me to talk about in the next video in the comment section down below. It's claimed that the crying boy in the haunted painting was named Don Bonillo, a homeless boy whose parents had died in a house fire. No one wanted to take the boy in, because wherever he went, fires would start. It's also alleged that after the artist had painted the boy's picture, his studio had burnt down. Years later, the unidentified body of a young man was found in a burnt car. The man is claimed to be the same young boy. After the studio had received calls regarding the painting, they offered to take it off people's hands. They eventually received about 2,500 paintings, which they stacked into a pile and burnt in a bonfire. In 2010, a radio presenter by the name of Steve Punt tried to burn the painting on his show. However, no matter how much he tried, the painting would not catch fire. While he believed that the painting had a fire retardant varnish, he offered no proof for his claims. A few of the legends surrounding the haunted painting believe that if you get rid of it, something bad will happen to you. That's why many people still keep theirs to this day. Some keep it in storage, while others hang it backwards on their walls. Have you had an experience with this painting growing up? Tell me about it in the comment section and follow for more videos as I upload every week.